Hey guys, Curtis Alexander. In this short video, I want to talk about why I no longer personally take omega-3 fish oils or omega-3 fatty acids. And this research is pointing to the fact, and I'll talk about this at the end of the video, that omega-3s may actually put you at increased risk for Alzheimer's disease. But let's hop right into this, okay? So we know fish oils are unstable. I've talked about this before, but why are they unstable? Well, they have more double bonds. Now that sounds good in theory to have more double bonds. It sounds stronger, but from a chemical point of view, from a biological point of view, it actually makes it more unstable in your body because those double bonds don't allow it to twist as much. So what that means is that they're oxidized easily. And when you have that oxidation, what we see is that the levels of lipid peroxidation can actually go up. Basically, you can see free radicals increase when you take in these fish oils, these omega-3 fatty acids. Now, when that happens, when you oxidize anything, you're going to see some breakdown products produced. Now, with something like omega-3s and fish oils, you can see an increase in a product called acrolein. Now, acrolein is actually classified as a carcinogen, okay? I believe it's a level two carcinogen, but still, it's not a good thing to be producing. It can also produce ethane, but I want to focus on the acrolein right now. Okay. So acrolein is a potential source of oxidative stress in your body. And what we think, what the evidence is pointing to is that can it actually bind to proteins and can cause some damage there. That can be associated with things like aging, diabetes, atherosclerosis. Now let's talk about a disease of aging, which is Alzheimer's and the link that acrolein may have in there, okay? We have looked at the brains of people with Alzheimer's disease, and there is an increased concentration of acrolein in those brains. Now, why is that important? Because we think acrolein inhibits mitochondrial respiration. I've long said that there's good evidence behind things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's being a disease of energy. Mitochondrial respiration is blocked. When you inhibit mitochondrial respiration, you can't produce energy. The food you take in isn't efficiently converted into energy, and we run into these problems. So is Alzheimer's disease mitochondrial in origin? There's good evidence for that, and there's good evidence that fish oils produce more of this acrolein, which can lead to decrease in mitochondrial respiration. Now, I'm going to include links to the studies in the description if you want to go check those out. But I just wanted to explain why, you know, this is something I no longer take. There's a number of reasons this is one of them. If you have the other video topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments. I will do my best to get those covered. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.